Good morning, fam fam. This morning, I have both children back with me for the rest of the week. And it's the beginning of my busy two days. So today, I have to drive, I have to. Um, I am very lucky to have in-laws that are letting me borrow their van that has a trailer hitch because I am taking the turkeys to the butcher tomorrow in a trailer and so I need a vehicle with a trailer hitch and I don't currently have one. So we're going to town to visit grandma and grandpa. Just a minute, my toddler needs help. Here, here, I'll help. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, so, sorry. Um, so we're gonna go to town and visit my in-laws. We're gonna have lunch with them. The kids always like to stop in and see them while we're there. And then we're gonna switch vehicles and I'm gonna take their van and come back here for the afternoon when Peggy is coming here to load my steer, Gary. And the hope is that I will have time to come home put the kids down for a nap and feed the cows in the loading zone. I want to put the cows in there and then one by one I'll get rid of them until it's just Gary. And we're not ready yet, just one second. And then I'm going to put Gary, uh, or and then hopefully I'll just have Gary in the loading zone all ready to go when Peggy gets here. So that's my hope for the day. As you guys all know, I like to tell you my plan and then it's always fun to see what actually happens. So come along for the trip. Oh, and by the end of the day, at the end of the day, I am hoping to have enough free time to load all my turkeys into my trailer tonight so that I can leave for my butcher first thing in the morning. Because my butcher, as awesome as they are as far as what they do, they're not that organized and you could be there all day, especially Thanksgiving where everyone's taking turkeys. So we're going to try to get there nice and early. So that's my plan for today. Let's go. Results of two days of daycare and no nap. Sleepy babies. Can I just say that planning your entire day around your kids' nap that they then decide they don't need to take can be the most frustrating thing in the world. It literally sometimes ruins my day. So my my baby is definitely refusing her nap. But I have shit I need to do, so I'm going on the rule that if she's not crying, it's fine. And I'm going to start to get ready to load this gear later by enticing them with some hay that I'm just going to tear from this hay bale. They are out of hay, and my husband was going to feed them last night, and I said, don't do that, because that's a good way to entice them over. So, that's the plan. I may have to bring my baby out here if she doesn't fall asleep, but... She's happily flapping away in the bedroom there. Screaming started, so I had to bring the culprit out. Peace, be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Your anxious 
heart may as well be stone. Oh, it weighs you down deeper than you know. Yeah, it weighs you down deeper than you know. Peace, be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Your anxious heart may. One is Gary, so I'm good. You guys don't want in there. You go on. Hi, Mama. I know. You're not going anywhere. You're just like, I know. Who is? Thelma's seen this before. So I just called Peggy to tell her that Gary's in. We're good to go. And her tractor's not starting, so she had to make her run to town, which is an hour from here. And she just got there to get the part. So she's still coming, but it's going to be later than expected. So she's like... Okay, so just keep him fed and keep him happy. Well, he's happy. I have hay. The others are not so happy. I'm gonna give grain to all of them again and then I'm gonna continue just haying them. And I'm gonna get another gate just to continue to deter Gary and this other cow from getting out. We can do this, I can do this. I'm just freaking a bit nothing, as I often do. If you are afraid, Oh, that's a nice treat for them. Look at them get all excited. We'll shake it. Did you get all the pieces? No. Nope. A couple still on there. 
Oh, they are loving that. Thank you, Avery. Good job. Thank you, Mommy. Oh, thank you. You go and play in the sand with Harper? Yeah. Okay, Mama's gonna go clean out the trailer. because I loaded those cows into that chute too soon for the person that was coming to meet me. And now I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to reload him and I'm a little flustered, so hopefully I can get it to go. So what Mommy's doing right now is not safe for her or, or Avery, so you'll have to stay up here in the porch and watch, okay? That's my girls. Wait, Mommy has to go to try to catch Gary again because he got out. So you have to stay there, okay, please? There you go. You guys have lots to play with now. Oh, yeah, I do. Perfect. So everyone tells me the secret to working cows is to stay calm, so I'm trying to stay calm. I guess you could say I stayed calm. I was not expecting that to work. So I think the cows are not happy, obviously. 
And for anybody who doesn't know this life or experience this life, this is a part of the life that I really want to show you. I know that these animals love each other and that they are a family, a herd, they care for each other and they protect each other. And while I am happy to have Gary's beef and I am happy to be raising my own food and knowing exactly what's going into it, and I would not change the way that I am living for anything. Not everything is sunshine and rainbows. And butchering days, specifically for the cattle that I am very close to, are incredibly hard. Because I feel for them. I know that this cannot be easy. And it's the reason that I appreciate everyone's individual opinions on this subject. And not everyone can do it. until it's dusk and I'm gonna load all the turkeys into the trailer tonight so that when my mom Yaya arrives tomorrow at 7 a.m. Uh, bright and early I can leave for the butcher because at my butcher everyone lines up because they have to hang their own birds and it could be on Thanksgiving Friday it could be a long wait if you don't get there early so we're gonna try to get there early and we'll see what it looks like at probably 8 o'clock when I arrive but let's go load turkeys Thank you. Are you ready? You ready? Stop. 